What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my exotic collection in Destiny. So if you guys checked out my quotas and hard mode rewards from last week, you might have seen that I got the Truth Rocket Launcher as one of my rewards from uh, the quota fight on hard mode. So with that reward, I was able to finally complete my exotic collection in the game and now I currently have every single exotic armor piece as well as exotic weapons so I'm gonna show you guys all the exotics I laid them all out in my vault now that the vault is a little bit bigger I'm able to put every single weapon in but there's not enough space for all the armor pieces so let's take a look at all the gear so here's all the exotics in the game I put them all in to make it look a little bit nicer I'm not trying to show off I'm just trying to show you guys everything that I received and all my rewards, all my hard work and accomplishments um, into the game thus far up until right before House of Wolves comes out. So I'm going to go over everything starting off with the armors. We have the helmets for the Titan, we have Insurmountable Skull Fort, Helm of Immost Light, Helm of Saint 14, and the Glass House. And then for the Hunter, we have the ATS 8 Arachnid, Acleophase Symbiote. Knucklehead Radar and the Mask of the Third Man. For the Warlock, we have the Apotheosis Veil, Light Beyond Nemesis, Obsidian Mine, and the Skull of Dire Ahamkara. So there are 12 helmets in total as of right now after Dark Below, and uh, there are four for each class. For the Gauntlets, we have uh, No Backup Plans and Ruin Wings for the Titan. For the Hunter, we have Don't Touch Me and a Young Ahamkara Spine. For the Warlock, we have Claws of Ahamkara and Sunbreakers. And then for the chest pieces, for the Titan, we have Crest of Alpha Lupi and Armamentarium. And then for the Warlock, we have Heart of Praxic Fire, Starfire Protocol, and Void Fang Vestments. And then for the Leg Armor for the Titan, we have the MK44 Stand Asides. And the last three, I couldn't fit in there, so we had for the chest pieces on the Hunter, Crest of Alpha Lupi, and Lucky Raspberry. And then the last one, I'm wearing it, and that's Radiant Dance Machine. So, 27 exotic armor pieces in total. I actually bought majority of these just because um, there's a higher chance of Zer bringing what I need or what I'm missing. Uh, just because he brings three pieces of armor every week and only one weapon. So there's a higher chance that he'll bring what I'm missing. And so that's why majority of these were bought from Zer through Strange Coins. And then for the weapons, so these are all the weapons. I finally got all the weapons in the game. Starting off with the primaries, we have Bad Juju from the Exotic Weapon Bounty. We have Hard Light, which I got from Zer. Um, I actually didn't receive this as a reward until Zer brought it um, a, f a few weeks ago, several weeks ago. I forget how long ago it was, but uh, I finally got this after he sold it. Then we got Mighty Multi-Tool. I also got this as a reward a um, long time ago. We got Necrochasm, which is pretty much a trophy gun from the Crotazen Hard Mode Raid because this gun's not too good as a weapon itself. And then we have No Land Beyond, which I frequently get from Crotazen Raid. Uh, we have the Red Death, which I got from the Dead Singer part um, a while back in Crotazen as well. We have uh, Suros Regime, which was a pretty good gun back in the day until they nerfed auto rifles a few times but still it's an overall solid gun we have a last word which I believe I bought from Zer um, when he sold it the first time really good in Crucible uh, we have the Thorn which is a beast of a gun in Crucible as well and uh, this actually in my opinion is the hardest exotic weapon bounty to complete uh, because the tasks to complete this exotic bounty is uh, pretty difficult in comparison to the other ones but it's well worth it because Thorn is a really good gun and then we have the Universal Remote which I got in Quota Zen when um, the first chest in the lamp section could give exotics before they changed it to the Dead Singer that's where I got this gun and then we got the Vex Mythic class which I was pretty lucky in getting I got it the very first time I completed Vault of Glass on hard mode so that was pretty lucky for me and then we got Icebreaker, which I got really lucky with. I got it like in week 4 or week 5 of the game in a Nightfall, and it ended up being one of the best weapons in the game for PvE. 
Uh, so I was pretty lucky and fortunate on that one. Then we have Invictive, another exotic bounty. We have Patience in Time, which I bought from Zur um, the first time he sold it. Uh, really good gun in Arc Nightfalls, especially like the one this week, which is Devil's Lair. And then we have Plan C, another really good gun. Zur sold it a couple of times. Uh, we have Pocket Infinity, another exotic bounty. We have Dragon's Breath, which I get a lot in Crotazen as a reward. Um, but it's not too good of a rocket launcher in comparison to the other two exotic rocket launchers in the game. And then we have the Galahorn, the most sought after exotic in the game right now. Um, really good gun overall, everyone knows this. I was really lucky in getting this um, pretty early on as well. I got it before Dark Below in a Nightfall as well, maybe a couple weeks after I got my Icebreaker. So I was really lucky early on in the game from uh, Nightfall Rewards. And then finally, for the rest of the heavies, we have Super Good Advice, another exotic bounty. Thunderlord, which I received in a Nightfall uh, several weeks back for the first time. And then we have the Truth Rocket Launcher, which I finally got from this past week's Quota Zen Raid. So, those are all the exotics in the game. This is all my accomplishments from day one when I bought the game. I think I got the game, like, I got the game on the first week that it came out, but I didn't start playing it until um like toward the end of that week so i pretty much pretty much have been playing this game since launch um i was still playing it since week one but yeah those are all the guns that i've acquired all the armor pieces that i've acquired up till now and hopefully i can continue collecting them going into house of wolves so thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos and i will catch you guys next time peace